Good morning, everyone. Just turning 551, we have a relatively quiet morning underway. We'll start you out in Monument. We're at People's Bank. We have 37. This is an area where tomorrow morning we're likely to have some snow. A little bit uncertain how much snow is. We're going to have some melting. But I do think you'll have some travel impacts due to snow and blowing snow in the Tri Lakes area this time tomorrow morning. Whereas you hit downtown Colorado Springs and start heading southward, we're looking at a mixture of rain and snow tomorrow morning. So I don't know that we'll have as much trouble in these areas. Right now, Phil on Kia, 33, dry conditions, just some patchy low clouds around. And in Pueblo, 42 degrees, this next storm looks to bring you nothing but rain. So wet roadways is what you should expect. But you don't have them this morning. It's actually quite nice, and there's just a little bit of a northeasterly breeze. It's currently at 8 miles an hour. All right, here we go. So we start with some precipitation that currently is out here along the Colorado-Kansas state line. We'll see waves of rain moving up in these areas. Some of that could be accompanied by some thunder. By 4 o'clock this afternoon, we will start to see scattered showers, both rain and snow, becoming more common here along the front range. We'll keep the snowfall elevations today pretty high, probably up above 7,500 feet. So I think we'll be okay along the front range for travel, even for the evening commute. Prior to the showers arriving, we'll be in the 50s to lower 60s on the plains, with 30s and 40s up high. But as we move into the late afternoon hours, temperatures will start to come down. And then this evening, it looks like the precipitation will blossom along the front range with heavy rain at lower elevations, heavy snow parked up on the mountains, and then the snowfall elevations after midnight should start to come down eventually perhaps reaching Colorado Springs so that when you wake up tomorrow morning, we'll have at least a brief period of some snow. But do notice by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, the heavier precipitation begins to shift to the south. It does appear the upper level circulation with this storm is going to be far enough south that the heaviest snow will fall on the mountains to the south and west of Pueblo as opposed to around the Pikes Peak region. Which doesn't mean we won't get snow around the Pikes Peak region. We would expect maybe 5 to 10 inches of snow in parts of Teller County and the top of Pikes Peak could pick up more than a foot. A little bit tougher call out here on Monument Hill, but we'll figure out two to five inches. And even if that's all that falls, we're going to get some wind tomorrow morning. So we'll get some blowing snow too and reduce visibility. So I do think travel over the hill will be difficult tomorrow morning. As you come into the north side of Colorado Springs, maybe one to three inches of wet snow. But the farther south you go, the less likely that's going to stick on the roadway. So once you get past downtown, I don't think we'll have too much trouble with it. Pueblo, it's going to be all rain, also all rain for Canyon City. But as you start traveling south and west towards the wet mountains, well, totally different story. We expect one to two feet of snow. And even along the I-25 corridor to the south of Pueblo, some significant snowfall on the order of four to eight inches appears likely. Once you hit Raton Pass, we could be up around 10 to 20 inches. So this is going to be very elevation dependent because of the overall warmth of the storm system. Tomorrow we'll be lucky to hit about 40 in Colorado Springs with a mixture of some rain and snow maybe into the afternoon. But most of what's going to fall should have done it by the time noon comes around. Thursday, we're dry. The next storm comes in Friday into Saturday. This, too, looks to bring a mixture of rain and snow to the area with perhaps heavy snow once again up on the higher terrain. Looks like that'll clear out in time for a, a nice dry end of the weekend on Sunday, and Monday will be warming up close to 60 degrees. Pueblo, with the next two storm systems, we're talking rain. Maybe a lot of it, which would be great. So we end up with temperatures only in the 40s tomorrow, back up into the 60s on Thursday, and we'll cool off again towards the end of the week as the next storm gets here. But Sunday looks like a decent day if you have some outdoor plans, and Monday will be up around 60. Canyon City looking for all rain with this next storm system too. 61 on Thursday might be cold enough with the Friday-Saturday storm to mix a little wet snow in, but if we did, I don't think it would stick very well. We're back up into the upper 50s to lower 60s on Sunday and Monday. Again, Teller County. Best guess I can give you right now, and we'll look at it again later on this morning and update you at noon. About 5 to 10 inches of snow with this one. I haven't thought too much about the next one yet. I'm going to get through <laughs> one before we get to the other. But I do think we'll have some pretty healthy snow. Bring on the moisture. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Marty. You're welcome.